this month? Well, I'm looking to be him in even more, you know, dramatic fashion. You know, when I fought Ortiz the first time, I had um, I had a terrible flu to the point where even when I was walking out in the tunnel, I was spitting up mucus. But one day I said, I'm gonna write a book and I'm gonna tell you all the things that I've done in my career that, you know, that is not of a fighter to do. And as you can see, I still knock guys out. Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, prepares for his rematch against very dangerous Cuban Southpaw Luis Ortiz coming up November 23rd. Deontay Wilder hosted a media workout at his Tuscaloosa, Alabama gym today. PBC was on hand as well as the media and they asked him a lot of questions. The main narrative of this fight is whether Deontay is going to finish Luis Ortiz in quicker fashion than he did the first time. Now Wilder knocked out Ortiz in the 10th round in their first bout but he was pushed to the brink against Ortiz as Ortiz had him hurt in the seventh round, caught him with a nice right hook and a straight left hand that had Wilder on shaky legs. He was still able to hold on and he eventually broke Ortiz down in the later rounds, hurt him with some hooks and right hands and got him out of there with an uppercut. And it was one of Wilder's signature victories. Uh, it was a victory for him that he had been long searching for you know against a very very dangerous fighter in Luis Ortiz so a lot of people believe Wilder is crazy for giving Ortiz a rematch considering stylistically he's a tough matchup for anybody it's been noted on social media and in YouTube videos that Deontay Wilder was going through the flu in their first fight um, and he also acknowledged it at the beginning of this video the fact that he was under the weather against Luis Ortiz in their fight last year so a lot of people are expecting a lot sharper Wilder, but Wilder wasn't able to get his jab going in the first fight. I think he's going to make some adjustments. I think Wilder's going to start jabbing to the body a little bit uh, to be able to control distance. And I think that's the one of, I think that's one of the adjustments he's going to make. I've seen some of his training camp footage, uh, you know, on his social media and, you know, other spots. I think that he is going to make that adjustment. He's going to start jabbing to the body. He's developed his hook. And obviously that weapon, that bazooka right hand, is his, you know, that's his nuclear weapon. He can pull that out of his hat whenever he wants. I mean, this is a dangerous fight for Deontay Wilder considering the first fight and the fact that nobody else wants to fight Luis Ortiz. I mean, Wilder is the only guy who's going to step in the ring with him in the top 10. I mean, nobody else really wants smoke with the man. So... You gotta commend Deontay, he's taking a big risk when he doesn't even have to. He's in a position of power, but he's out to prove that he's the baddest man in the planet. He's out to prove that he's the best. So I commend him for it. I can't wait for this fight. Make sure you stay tuned, we're gonna keep it locked, Airshow Sports.